I would just like to put to bed that whole, uh, you know, you're not stealing signs. You're attempting to steal signs. Yes. <laughs> yes, Bill. See, no. And it is a skill. It's a skill. <laughs> all right. Look, I mean, I, well, this is how I look at it. Yeah. If, if you can hire the Michigan's former linebackers coach for just a month and talk right. to him about their playbook, yeah. I don't think somebody with binoculars or a camera trying to figure out what, what a picture of a box of wheat checks and Dorothy Hamill <laughs> and an arrow means. I mean, to sit there and act, oh, that's why they won the games. Oh, is it? And there's another thing, too, is every single team you watch when they talk, they're going like this, they got stuff up, everybody, because everybody is doing it. So, um, you know, and Michigan paid like a huge price. They lost their, their, their coach for three games. And I'm sure there was, I don't know how draft picks and stuff work, but I'm sure there was some sort of sanctions. Usually when that happens nice. to uh, a football program, they nosedive for a little while. And you guys turn around and won the championship. So, uh, but I wouldn't pass put it past uh, Buckeye fans whining about it because uh, that's, that's a part of the college football tradition yes. this time of year is Ohio State fans crying about <laughs> the refs or how they should have made the playoffs and yada, yada, yada. And evidently, they, they're sort of the new Notre Dame. Like, remember Notre Dame when we were growing up? They acted like everyone else was on steroids except for them. But somehow <laughs> their players were the same size. There's always that one, God loves us the best, and we do everything right school. You know, the Cowboys were that for a long time until they all got caught doing blow. <laughs> that was the oh, 70s, no, though. No, that was back no, in the 70s. Dude. They didn't all get caught, though, but, but you know. I'm, I'm with you on, on uh, obviously, I'm with you on the whole Connor Stallions thing. Because, again, they did break the rules. The question is, is what, to what effect? And we still don't know. And everyone assumes it was to the maximum possible, most damaging effect against them and the best possible effect for Michigan for for in, in the exact moment. Because, again, my, my point uh, as you pointed out, what is it? A box of wheat checks, Dorothy Hamill and an arrow. You got to make sure that you know what you're looking at. How many times are people on a vacation and you're taking a selfie and somebody walks up and says, oh, I'll take that picture for you. And then you hand them your phone and they hand back the most unusable photograph or video that's shaky. <laughs> right. And so this guy hired people and Venmo him a hundred bucks saying, go and shoot this video of somebody else's sideline. How the hell do we know what the hell they shot? You know what I mean? Like I, I, I don't know. look, I, I, I don't know. I think it's, uh, I think it's like calling holding where you can do it on a every play and all of that. So I don't, I look, I look, look, if that's against the rules, then you shouldn't be able to hire a former coach for a month. At least you got to pay him for a year. Is all I'm saying. It's like, somehow, like it, none of it, nothing makes sense, but, um, I don't know. I'm happy for you guys. Thank you. It, it's us, uh, Bill. Come on Ohio now. State it finds their footing with their coach. Cause it's, it's never good. Um, like the Ohio State Michigan game sucked when you guys sucked. It, it's it's not good. It's like yeah. uh, you know you, you want to. It's it's kind of like being a Red Sox fan. If we win the division, I want the Yankees to be good. I don't want them to be uh, you know a mediocre team. I I want them to have a great team. So there's a, there's a feeling of like satisfaction. So okay, but whatever. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern for free.